when I got here, it was hailing. But uh, I'm glad I got outside. It's like one of the benefits of this 100 Parks Challenge is it gets me out of the house. And uh, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Uh, this is one of my favorite parks. I went here a lot when I was younger. I don't think I ever went to the swimming pool here, but there was this there was this big event every year called uh, Valley Fest. It's no longer held at this park because I think that event I grew this park. Now they do it at uh, Mirabu. But yeah, there's a baseball field here. Um, playground, lots of picnic areas, and the trees are just lovely. Look how tall these trees are. So big. So big. What's going on in my life? Well, uh, Sakura Boost is looking good. I'm very proud of myself. I was giving myself a pat on the back earlier because I reached a milestone, which is visuals are done. At least for version 1.0, visuals are good enough. Yeah, I'm really, really proud of myself for that. I was hung up on the enter, update, exit, life cycle of how d3 works with dom selections and data joining and figuring out how to make that work with nested data took a lot of trial and error but i f i think i have a good handle on it now i did away with the rounded corners because those used css and i think css embedded in an svg actually made things a little less performant and i didn't like that so i reverted to just svg these are now svg images there is a way to get rounded corners uh, with SVG images, but that's going to take some more doing. And that is not MVP. We are <laughs> we are going for MVP because uh, I actually want to make this product real and I need to move fast. The styling and making things look prettier can come down the line. Same thing with the text. It no longer has color and it would be trivial to add color and styling and bold lettering but that's not mvp and i really need to move on at this point because i've spent so much time on the visuals but let me show you a quick demonstration of how this works we've got two players here and i've got two chat clients this is just the built-in twitch chat and this is uh, chatty the application cj clippy is on chatty and soccer boost is on the twitch chat okay so let's do some commands here uh, CJ Clippy is going to draw a card there we go uh, let's get uh, another card for Clippy here oh that's a uh, it was an identical message there's no way to disable that setting to where you can't send the same identical message that's just like a spam precaution that twitch does so we can just add some extra W's to the draw command and it's not the same message but it's the same command because uh, the command parser is only looking for a string that starts with exclamation draw. Cool, let's uh, get Sakura boost. Uh, they want to discard a card. Actually they're at their maximum cards right now so let's see if, aha, let's get one more card. Nope, an error is thrown. Player has the maximum number of cards in their hand. Let's discard then. There we go. That was kind of an ugly animation. There are still some flaws in there, but this is MVP. This is going to get us off the ground. This is what it would be like to be a player on uh, Soccer Abyss. They're hunting for cards that they like, building a six card deck, and uh, at which point they check out. Speaking of which, check out is one of the final parts that needs implementing both the command integration in the chat handler and Shopify integration so players can check out, enter their credit card details and shipping address. Yeah, yeah. Still doing push-ups and squats every day. I'm noticing my arms are getting a little bit bigger, so that's a really good sign. <laughs> I, my, my whole body hurts like on a regular basis and, and it's a different kind of hurt than if I'm just sedentary. It's like I'm, I'm hurting because I'm an athlete now, <laughs> but it, it's less annoying than it. It's less annoying than I remember the hurt the body hurts being when I was just sedentary. Yeah. When I was a kid, I remember coming to this park. It's the closest park to my the elementary school I went to. Look, look at this old school drinking fountain. You don't see drinking fountains like that made anymore. Look how big this tree is. So big. But something I've noticed about the trees here the bases of the trunks are weathered because of the sprinklers kicking in. Uh, 
when I was in Boy Scouts, every year we would do this collection event where we would go around to neighborhoods and collect canned food from people. And I remember being assigned to this neighborhood. There's a lot of old people who live here, and I remember them being very generous. A few years back, I came to this park, and I remember this old guy was walking around, and he came up and said hi to me, and I was very awkward and shy at the time. I still am, but <laughs> I was very awkward. I didn't say much, but he said he was over 100 years old, and he looked very healthy. All I could say was wow at the time, but uh, <laughs> if I saw him again, I'd, I'd ask him, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Because whatever it's, well, because whatever it is, it seems to be working. Uh, I think it'd be nice to live to 100. That's a, a nice even number. Ah, oh, there's my bicycle. I love my bicycle.